Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Techno Talks here. So in today's video, we're gonna be checking out two products from Pataka. They actually sent these over to me so I could review them. So let's go ahead and begin. So in front of us today, we have the Pataka Fusion Weaving Mag Easy case, and we also have the Mag Easy Car Mount Pro. So quickly, this right here is a MagSafe compatible case, and this right here is a MagSafe compatible car mount. So let's go ahead and begin. I'd like to start off with the case first. So let's begin with the packaging. So packaging wise, looks really nice overall. Uh, this case will run you around $60 USD. And then that's basically about all I can give you other than that. Uh, we have a nice little quick image in the front, 6.1 inch uh, weight. It gives you a weight approximate, so 22 grams, only 0 0.05 inches thick, maxi compatible, genuine ramid fiber, and then PETA flow for a phone. So I guess, uh, Peta Flow is going to be their MagSafe compatibility with their uh, devices. So this is the Fusion Weaving case. Uh, it is pretty new. They released this, a, I believe, a couple months ago. Uh, before this, they only had just the normal looking carbon fiber one. Other than that, on the back, we do get some other information. So slim and protective, MagSafe compatible, wireless charging friendly, but nothing else. So it just says Pataka right here. Let's go ahead and pull this cover out. Alternative Tech Life, that is their motto. So pretty nice packaging, seems really solid. It is closed off with magnets. And then we also get some removal instructions right here once you actually place it into the phone. So here we have the case. Uh, we also get uh, some other things. So thank you, we're grateful for your order. And then Pataka product catalog. So you get like a nice little catalog of what it's gonna look like. So let's go ahead and close this back up and put this back in here and actually go ahead and check the case out. So here I have my blue iPhone 13 Pro, as you can see, and here we have the Pataka case. Again, this case is very slim and actually feels really solid in the hand. So the middle portion, the back plate, I believe since they had to add in the MagSafe magnets, for this, they actually had to make it a little thicker, which actually made it a lot sturdier than normal. So I'm actually, uh, I've actually used later cases before and you might know that they're very similar in design. And this right here feels a lot more solid in the middle compared to that one since this does have MagSafe compatibility and there are some magnets inside of there. Other than that, we have this nice little uh, fusion weaving design right here. Uh, it's red, orange, brown, yellow, and blue. We also get a logo right there, a Pataka logo, which you really can't see, which is nice to know, as I really love it when companies don't really have too many, uh, too much branding on their cases. So the inside just says Pataka compatible with MagSafe charging. So let's go ahead and plop this in. And boom, it's as easy as that. So that's all it took. I just had to push it down and we have the case on. So overall looks and feels pretty nice in the hand. We get some nice cutouts for our power button, uh, for our volume marker and our uh, volume switches. We also get a large cutout on the bottom. As you can see, there is an extra cutout right here. So if you do have a third party charger, then you won't really have any issues with that. Our speakers are perfectly, uh, we have a nice little cutout down there. And then we also have a cutout on the top portion uh, since they do really like uh, just having all these areas opened up, which I personally prefer. It just uh, looks better in my opinion. And then when you're actually using the device, you actually touch the buttons of the device instead of just some plastic buttons that are randomly placed on top of normal cases. Other than that, we have a nice little front lip, as you can see. So this will definitely be protecting your phone from the front display. Uh, if you do drop it on its front, then you shouldn't really have any issues. And then if you're also uh, rocking a screen protector on there, you should be perfectly fine. Our camera is perfectly protected as well. We have a nice large lip around the camera, as you can see. So if you do drop it on its back, then your cameras will be fine as well. So overall, it is a pretty great product. And again, let's go ahead and test out the MagSafe compatibility. So I'm in MagSafe Puck right here. Go ahead and plop it on. And as you can see, it is charging right now. So let's go ahead and take this off, plop it back on, and then do a little shake test. As you can see, it's actually sticking onto there pretty sturdy. So overall, feels really hard on there. So the maximum compatibility is really nice on this. Uh, you should definitely not have any issues. 
Uh, it does stick on perfectly. It's really hard to take off. As you can see, you can't really slide it off easily. But other than that, that is basically about it for this case. So now let's go ahead and move on to their car mount. I will actually be uh, placing this inside my car and showing you guys that as well. But before we do that, let's go ahead and check this out. So this right here is the Maggie Z Car Mount Pro. It is going to cost you around $70 USD. Um, it is an air vent mount, wireless fast charge, your iPhone 13 with a MagSafe compatible case while you drive. So some information, MagSafe compatible fan cooling system, up to 15 watts charging speed, built in safety features, and then for iPhones. So Apple actually has some limitations. So with normal Qi wireless charging, it can only charge up to 7.5 watts, which is really annoying. But with their MagSafe compatible products, like the MagSafe puck right here, it's 15 watts. So Belkin is currently the only company other than Apple that actually charges at 15 watts. And so Pataka still doesn't, it's still restricted to 7.5 watts. But other than other devices, if you do purchase the uh, MagSafe compatible cases for other devices, so you do actually have the option to get it for a Samsung device as well to use the MagSafe compatibility, uh, you can actually charge at 15 watt charging speeds. But with the iPhone, it's gonna be limited at 7.5 watts. So overall, there really isn't anything else. It just says alternative tech life again. And then we also get a quick little image of what the device looks like. So let's go ahead and slide this out like so place this here place that there and then just pull the top portion off we do get some uh, we get a product catalog which we really don't need to read a thank you note I guess uh, thank you card with some stuff inside there which we don't need as well so I'm gonna go ahead and plop those back inside the box let's move on to the wireless charger so here we have the uh, Mag Easy Car Mount Pro feels really solid in the hand, and let's go ahead and actually plop this on real quick. As you can see, it sits on there perfectly, shouldn't really have any issues. So, I'm actually going to go ahead and put this in my car once we check everything out just to see if, it, if the magnets are really as strong as it should be. And then we also have our vents right here. So these are the cooling vents it was talking about. And then we have a nice chrome detail on the back. As you can see, the front is this matte finish. And then we also have a carbon finish right there with a Pataka logo, but the back has this chrome finish to it. We also get this uh, screwable area. So this is gonna be where you actually screw on your mount mounting piece. So let's go ahead and open these boxes. So we have two boxes right here. Let's go ahead and check them out. This one doesn't have anything, so that's where I just took this out. And then this right here should have the mounting accessories, if I can manage to open it up. All right, so got this out. Let's go ahead and open this portion up as well. Again, if I can manage to do it, for some reason it's really hard to open up. All right. So, what do we get inside of here? We get our cable, our charging cable. We get these, oh, okay, okay, okay. This is really nice. So this right here will basically wrap around your cable and you can, it has 3M tape on the back so you can go ahead and stick it onto somewhere on your car so you don't have a cable mess all over, which is really nice that they included this. And then we also get our mounting piece right here. So let's go ahead and close this back up. And again, if I can manage to do that. All right, put this to the side and move on. So here we have our mounting bracket. So this right here actually plops on very differently. As you can see, it has this hook, which you actually hook onto your car vent, which I will be showing inside my car again. But for now, let's go ahead and plop this onto here. So all you gotta do is unscrew this area, push down and then screw back in. And once you get the position you want it at, then you'll go ahead and just screw it on and place it inside of your vent. So this is what the Car Mount Pro looks like. The MagSafe works really well again. 
as you can see i'm shaking this thing and it is not flying off or moving at all so really nice product overall so now uh let's go ahead and move into my car so i'm gonna go ahead and move in place this inside my car just to test it out and see the uh, wireless charging compatibility that it has i'm gonna go ahead and actually plug it in as well so i'll see y'all in a second all right, so I got it clipped onto my car. As you can see, it is connected to my air vent, and I do have the cable connected. Uh, the cable management is pretty bad right now, but that is not what I'm looking after right now. So again, I just clipped it on right there. This little knob you can see in the middle, you just go ahead and twist that so you can extend the latch that actually latches onto the air vent. And then once you get it inside of there, you go ahead and twist it back so it holds on sturdily. So. It is connected to my USB uh, USB port in the car. Let's go ahead and plop my phone on top. So here I have my phone, iPhone 13 Pro with the Pitaka case. So let's go ahead and plop it on. If I can land it, line it up. And boom. So that's all you gotta do. It's lined up, it's perfectly uh, sturdy, staying in its place as you can see. Uh, and there really isn't much else to it. So. That is basically going to wrap it up for this video. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe. I will be leaving a link down below for both these products and see y'all in the next one.